Shalom. I'll praise to you. I'll show you shy. Double honor sales of GMS. All right. Much love to you brothers out there that's pushing this truth. Um, we've been telling y'all, man, and letting y'all know about this World War Three because the spirit, the most high has is to put this news out and to get this knowledge out. Okay. So there was a, a incident where two Russian nuclear jets were circled around Guam. There, it was before news. There was uh, how you say people out here pushing that truth and telling about that situation, but people didn't want to believe. Now it's on Fox News. But let's get into this real quick. A uh, quick verse. This is Ezekiel 38. This is Ezekiel 38 and 4. And it reads Ezekiel 38, verse 4. And it says, And I will and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy, into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth. And who's that talking about? Talking about God, Russia. And it says, And I will bring thee forth in all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with, with all sorts of armor. What's that armor? Is their weaponry, that technology. Okay? And it says there are jets and all that. There, there are all that weaponry the Most High has given to them. And it says, Source of armor, even a great company with buckler and shield, all of them handling swords. Persia and Ethiopia, Libya with them. All of them with shields and helmets, Gomar and all his bands in the house of Togomar, of the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. But thou prepared and prepared for thyself, thou and all thy co company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou guard unto them. That's, that's why they're standing up for Iran, because Iran is like Mexico, man. Iran is the equivalent to the Mexico to America. Of course they're going to defend them. Okay, because there's, that's their backyard, man. So let's get into this video. Hey, glad you're up. Russia flexing its muscle now by sending a nuclear message to America. Got a spokeswoman for the Pacific Air Force in Hawaii confirmed that just days ago, two nuclear-armed bombers from Russia circled the U.S. territory of Guam before being intercepted by American military jets. Is this proof that Russia is uh, becoming a greater threat to the U.S. than the administration has led on, known all along, but doesn't want to tell us? Bill Gertz, senior editor of the Washington Free Beacon, joins us live from Washington. Bill, what do you read into this? Well, Brian, I think it's pretty clear that, you know, when I asked the uh, Air Force spokeswoman why the Russians were doing this, she told me to ask the Russians, which is kind of a joke. Uh, I think this was clearly a simulated nuclear attack on the United States, and it's not the first time. This is actually the third incident where Russian strategic bombers have come close to U.S. coast. The last one in June was part of a major strategic exercise <coughs> where a Russian general actually said they were practicing uh, targeting our missile defense bases in uh, Alaska and California. What's our response been? Uh, silence, pretty much. Uh, the administration. So that goes out to Nate. That goes out to all these false pastors out here. They ain't pushing that. Okay, we've been telling you people how long, man, before they put it out in the news that this was going on and it's going to happen. Okay, General Yohanna ain't talking about it. Nate Satan ain't talking about it. Zabak ain't talking about it. 14th Street homos ain't talking about it. Okay, all these other groups that are not pushing this truth, man. Forget anything else. This is what we need to be prophesying on because this is the time we in. It's the time of war. There's a time for everything. Yeah, there's a time for your family. Yeah, there's a time to be right. But we ain't in that time. We ain't in the kingdom. Okay? The Most High set up this time for judgment and to show His strength. Not to be, oh, I'm making it. I got to pay my bills. What kind of madness are you on? You in slavery, man. Okay? Keep going. It. And um, is trying to salvage their reset policy, which has been a pretty much of a disaster. It's been totally one way. The U.S. makes concessions, the Russians pocket them, and continue on a more aggressive and more anti-democratic posture. Now, uh, why do you think that is? I mean, it didn't seem that long ago where George Bush was riding around Vladimir Putin, and they talked about a new era in U.S.-Russian uh, relations. What has gone wrong? What is their complaint with us? Well, the Russians under Putin uh, are trying to remove, move back into the Soviet period. They, they see that as the glory days, and they're, they're rebuilding their military. They're building up their nuclear forces in a major way. At the same time, uh, the U.S. is getting ready for further nuclear cuts. And that is happening right now. We want to cut our arsenal by another, uh, uh, by another third. There's been no response. The Secretary of State Kerry picks up the phone to talk to his counterpart in Russia. No, re no return call until yesterday. Yes. And uh, one of the chief U.S. arms negotiators, Rose Gottmuller, was in Russia almost at the same time that this bomber incident occurred. And Let me read this. This is uh, Ezekiel 30, uh, 29 and uh, the start of 3. 
speak and say, uh, speak and say, thus saith the Lord, behold, I am against thee, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and great dragons lieth in the midst of his rivers, which he has said, my rivers is mine own, and I have made it for myself. But I will put hooks in thy jaws, and I will cause the fish of thy river to stick unto the scales, and I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers, and all of the fish of thy rivers shall stick unto thy, this, thy scales. And I will leave thee three throne, thrones into the wilderness. Uh, that's Salaki. That's it on. That's it on that. But um, it's that hooks back into the jaw. This actually verse goes into something else. But the last verse that I read in Ezekiel 38 and 4, the Most High is putting the hooks. You heard him say they wanted to get back to the Soviet Union because that was their that was their glory days. So that's what they're trying to build up. They're trying to build up that power structure and and get that glory back. Okay. So the Most High is moving this thing and he's bringing it to a head. She didn't, never even raised this issue. She's uh, looking to try to get a new round of arms talks going. And Bill, politically, it seems as if everything is blamed internally on Russia. Everything that goes wrong, they bring it back to America. They're trying to create an anti-American feeling again inside Russia. Is it working? Uh, well, you know, I think the Russian people look still look at the U.S. as a, a beacon of freedom and, and want that. Uh, of course, the Putin regime has kind of taken Russia in, back into the Soviet days, and I think he's kind of appealing to the hardliners in the Russian military who are in the midst of this uh, military buildup. Bill Gertz, Washington Beacon, thanks so much. Thank you. So with that, I'm going to say shalom.